afternoon. It's Thursday, March 1st, and this is episode 41 of Three Sisters Knit Podcast. I'm Sheila. You can find me in Ravelry as SheShe62. And I'm Margaret, and you can find me on Ravelry as Magpie60. You can also find our Ravelry group, Three mm -hmm. Sisters Knit, and you can find us on Instagram as Three Sisters Knit. Um, if you stick around to the end of the podcast, you'll see the credits what we call the credits and it's yeah. uh, all of our contact info there yes so what do we want to get started um, with today? well we've got actually we've had a couple questions yes that's right we've had so a couple we're of questions. gonna start off with the questions yeah so uh, the first was uh, from Teresa she had um, caught up with us uh, she had gone back and taken a look at episode one when I had been talking about a scarf that I was working on. It was a seed stitch. And I went back and I looked at the episode notes myself uh, because she was asking about the pattern for it. And um, I actually wrote in the notes that I couldn't find, that I think I had seen this pattern somewhere, mm -hmm. but I just kind of made it up um, at the time. And I was doing seed stitch and then I was going to sew it together and add these funky buttons to it. Well, I had the scarf thing knit up and I don't know I just wasn't liking the size of it or there was just something about it I just yeah. didn't really care for it so I never finished it but I kept looking at it and looking at it thinking I'm gonna like do the yarn because I love the yarn yes so what I did um, if Teresa is interested um, I ended up making this and I talked about this hat a while ago um, it's called the I think it's called snowplow hat. So you can't really see a lot of the pattern, but it's just got this one panel of pattern where it looks like there's um, sort of a cable because like there's a, a couple twisted. of a twisted stitch of some yeah. kind. Um, it was a fun little knit to do, and it's such an adorable hat. And with it being um, such a chunky weight. Yes, and you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it might be fun just to stick one of the buttons on. Yeah, you know, I would I would put it like right like here. in in the brim, brim area. Yeah, like yeah, maybe just like uh, maybe right just at the edge there. of the brim, just yeah, sort of, because those yellow buttons look look so, so cool, cool with, with it. it. So, um, I do I love the hat mm -hmm. like this and like well you know look at it's my colors right all these like pinks and purples and stuff. So yeah, um, I don't usually wear this toque style hat. Yeah, um, because it's I think it looks goofy on me. But um, looks more like a cloche. A cl well, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's really sweet little hat. So I ended up doing this, um, and I had I had just been making it up when I was working on it. So Teresa, if you are watching this, um, I I know you were asking about sort of how many stitches and stuff. But I like I said, just thought, well, I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. I'll just cast on however many I cast on. I'll say thirty or something. Yeah. And I just did my seed stitch until I ran out of yarn because it was a worsted weight, and mm -hmm. I just used the whole ball. Yeah. Um. So then I I basically knit it, knit this. Um. I think I must have washed it or something because I I don't think it's. You know how when you work from the sock blank, yeah, it has that it does something to just plain little, knitting, yeah. And I don't think it's done that on the here. So, no. um, yeah, I don't because know it's kinked. It's it, often it gets kinked. kinked. And the this yarn's doesn't kinked, seem so uh, kinked at it all. It could be because it's so chunky too. That could be it. So anyway, that's what I ended up doing with it. Yeah. And it is called the. Let me see if I have this. This was it. The snowblower hat. Sorry, I was wrong. So that, and it is by Babs Ausherman. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a free uh, pattern. pattern. And unfortunately my, the picture, my printer isn't all that great, but you can kind of see it a little bit better there. Yeah. And um, it's, it's such a sweet, and it knit up like it's, super fast. It was so fast. chunky, so it was, did knit uh, up yes. quite quickly. Yes, and it's super simple. The panel is really easy to knit up. And so, yeah, if if anybody's interested in that, I know I did talk about it in a, a few episodes ago when I yep. actually finished it. So um, I will put a link in again to that. Yeah. Um, and then what was the other question that we had? Oh, we just oh, had that. From had Aaron. on Instagram, yeah. um, Aaron, who is Dufferin24 yeah. on Instagram, was asking me about two yarns uh, or a yarn that I had she thought I'd picked it up in um, Nova Scotia somewhere yeah, down or east. Yeah. down east and she said it was like a watermelon mm -hmm. color so I went through all my projects and I really I found two 
yarns mm -hmm. that would fit that bill. Um, this is one of them. It's a darker. This one is uh, by uh, Quarry Fiber. She's an American, and it was in the colorway Babe. Mm -hmm. I made a, a shawl out of that. Yeah. Now, we got that when we were in Rhode Island. I think that's where we got it, the Yarn Shop Girls. Was it? I think so. Yes, yes, it was. Yep. It was when we were in Rhode <clears throat> Island on our little trip down in Rhode Island. So this yep. was her colorway babe. Yeah. Um, so that there was that one. And then I have this one. I don't have the tag for it, but I do know who I got it from. Mm -hmm. This one is very pink with the black speckles in that. It's called Bloody Mary. Mm -hmm. It is by um, SS of Critium Handmade. She is a Canadian dyer. There's her card and her contact info. Um, so she is, she's uh, Facebook, Instagram. She does, she has an Etsy yes. shop as well. So you mm -hmm. can find her Critium Handmade on Etsy as well. Yes. Yeah. There it is. She's got it written there. She wrote it there. CritiumHandDyedYarns.Etsy.com. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, <laughs> she did this one here called Bloody Mary. Yeah. So those, so are, those the are the two that I could, the, of my but, yarn, yeah. other than possibly this one, yes. which was Trey Liz, which we bought down in New Jersey, in New Jersey. at Do You Knit. Yes. So this so, is but, the Trey Liz. But Trey Liz is out of Greece. She's out of Greece. Yeah. So, so um, and she's on Instagram as well. So yes. it's uh, T R E. Trey Liz, uh, color uh, is power. Color is power. Is, yes. Um, um, yeah. And um, but she has are, amazing yarn colors. Oh, she too. does. So she yeah. does. And mm -hmm. so that's like those were the three, Aaron. Yeah. So if uh, I hope maybe it's these one were of one these of the ones, ones that you were talking about. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so, but let me know if if though if that's it, the, then we can say our thing is solved. Yes. Um, <laughs> they were not the Nova Scotia yarns. Yep. That I had bought. I didn't buy any that were like um, yes. watermelon colored. I bought a quote when I, I did a trip several years yeah. ago with my dad, uh, with our dad and um, stepmother. and our stepmother. And she, um, I stopped off at a shop and I found these really nice sort of one of a kind yarns at this small little shop in New Glasgow. And they were from Foggy Rock Fibers. Which is Newfoundland. Oh, okay. So, or Newfoundland. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, it was foggyrockfibers.com. Yeah. So, they were the Canadian ones, and then the other ones were just the Fleece Artist Yeah, so yarns. Fleece Artist yarns is, um, and, and Handmaiden yarns yes. are two that are um, probably most well-known. You can find yes. them, uh, they're from mm -hmm. down east as well, Nova yes. Scotia. Yeah. And uh, they, but their yarns can be found... Um, probably across Canada. So, yes. um, yeah, if you're interested in, you know, there seem to be a lot of really nice dyers yes. down east. So those are some you could check out if you're interested. Mm -hmm. So, so I hope that helps you out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that hopefully answers the questions that yes. we had. Um, what did you want to go on next? You want to do um, whips? Or? So you were showing, was that a... This is an FO. An FO? Okay. Yeah. Well, whips, I've got I'm working on a bunch of dish clogs for someone. Yes. I still have quite a few to do. I was sick right after we recorded yes. the last podcast. I was really sick, and I did not want to knit on any of those because they these dish cloths that I'm making for this woman, she's just finished going through like 14 rounds, 16 rounds of chemo or something like that, yeah. like just a ton. And I thought, yeah. I don't want to be knitting while I'm sick and giving them yeah. her these to her and her getting sick. Yeah. So... I, so I haven't really been working on them. I've worked on a few, but only since I've been better. But this is a really old project. Yes. And I, I love it. I think I've talked about it before. It's called the Candle Flame Shawl. And by Dean Crane. Let's see. There we go. Candle Flame designed by Dean Crane. <laughs> not <coughs> not Dean Crane no. Superman. No, no. <laughs> Anyways, this... I absolutely love this. It is so, so it's soft. It's really super soft. Because and the it, yarn I'm using is the Diamond Luxury Collection Stella Bella. And it's 87% alpaca, 9% polymede stellina, and 4% nylon. 
And it's so It's incredibly soft. soft. Incredi and look at the sparkles in yes. there from the Stelina. Like, like it's just, it's like glitter, glitter, glitter. Yeah. But I don't have any more. Like the, I am on my last ball, which is like this. I have this much yeah. left. And it's not very big. No. It's not very big. Yeah, it's very long, but it's, it's not, yes. not wide enough to... Now, I did find on sale these... I want to see, there it is. It's Queensland Collection Leche. Lash, Leche. Yeah. Leche. Yeah, like Dolce and it pretty Leche. And it pretty much matches. Yes. As you can <laughs> see in the color. It's pretty... It's like so close. It's incredibly so, close. But there's no Stellina. Yeah. So, which really bothers me. And I have gone on... Ravelry, Ravelry looking for and there is somebody and but she's got that will not sell, sell yeah. and I'm like well that just counts me out so yeah so I was saying if she made something where she could use the the um the the sparkle and the non sparkle yes that would be really yes. cool but it's, I love and, this pattern it's like so like, so like soft like a waiting for rain shawl for yes. example and you could use uh you know part of the either the non-lacy part the garter stitch yeah. part using one and then the the lacy part using yes. the other yes that would and be nice it, it would, would be really enough of a cool. contrast in it yes yeah but this is too thick for the waiting for rain the yarn well i think you can just kind of but it. see i love that this way but then you look at it this way it's, it's still like beautiful. it's it's still a great pattern yeah. i like it when a pattern is awesome reversible yeah, yeah. so i'm going to be ripping this out Ugh. i'm just letting you all know i'm ripping it out so that will be one of the decision so, of, I made for one of my whips. Yeah. It's being so fraud. Since we're talking about that, <coughs> after me. the last episode and I was showing you my sock from the Andre Sue Knits um, sock blank, and I was saying how I wasn't happy with like my the stitch count and yes. my heel flap and uh, everything. It was just getting to be too confusing, too long. And so I talked with Sheila the next morning and we decided that I would just take off the heel, the heel. So Sheila actually did it for me because I, I find it just so heartbreaking to do that. <laughs> so I did it. So she did it. I so ripped it I've back. ripped, it's been frogged right back and I have to get started on creating the, yes. the heel flap again. Yes. So yeah, it's sort of the step back, but. But, it, but you know, you know I had if, already if she's not in, happy with it, she's not going to wear it and she's not going to work on it. Yeah, so I had already so. settled in my mind that it's okay for me to do this, that I'm mm -hmm. actually much happier with it like yeah. that. So so it's all good. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And so, yeah, it looks, it's all frog, frog, frog. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but I'm frogging an entire thing. You're yes. just a heel. A heel. <laughs> <It was> a heel. A <laughs> heel. <laughs> so, but anyways, now, uh, whips. We both have whips. So no, or, or sorry, FOs, FOs. FO. Yep. I have an FO. Yep. So um, I think of not last episode, the one before I talked about this um, hat and this, this was the thing is I, so this, this is it finished and it is, uh, I didn't print it out because it was such a simple pattern that once I got started on, on the pattern, um, I didn't need to look at it again until mm -hmm. I knew, you know, until I got up to where I needed to start decreasing. And so this is called the man hat. So man I'll hat. put a link into, um, that's cute, eh? I know. I'm bald. <laughs> Got my hair cut. That's why it's so yeah. short. So it's, it's such a simple, it, I think it's sort of like a broken rib type pattern. Yeah, you could, if you wanted to, you could like, well, cause you got a small head. Yes, I do. Have a small but head, I mean, it's, you it's can called the man it hat. It. Yeah. So it's for a man. <laughs> Does it fit your head? Does, I didn't Does try it on. fit him? Does it fit hubby? Uh, I didn't have him try it on, actually. Okay. But um, anyway, I loved this. And I knit it the same way because I had been doing this uh, the sock from, from the sock blank. I thought, well, I'll give this a whirl. Because I had mm. originally knit it as a hat. And I had um, made a... Uh, but I, I, I didn't like it. I had kind of winged the sizing mm -hmm. and it was just way too big it was too big for her husband's was, head and, and he has got a, a, big head. a big head so uh, i thought well if i take it back starting from here on yeah. the old hat and then i just knit it like, like i was knitting from a sock blank. blank yeah knit it and from I the old hat into a new hat yeah so that's what i did and it's a it's a much more i mean it fits you yes. and it'll fit me because i've got like and i've hair. got room i've yeah. got room so yeah and so anyway, it's, it's really cute. And I, so I will put a link to the pattern in there because I didn't even print it out. 
because it's it was just such a simple yeah I just had it up on my computer like the PDF up on my yeah. computer and when I needed it I'd go and take a look at it yeah um but yeah so I got that one done so yeah I'm really happy about that that's really good that's really yeah good. I just had the last few rows of decreasing and then that was it so I've got that done yeah so I finished this one last night. Oh, that's pretty. I like the colors oh, in that. I'm looking at the back and I'm going, the back doesn't look right. The front looks fine. But, yeah, just a dishcloth. Yeah. Out of the... That's the cotton? Yeah, the out, of the, for... out of the uh, crafter. Yes. The cotton mm -hmm. crafter. I'm just noticing there's a mistake on the back, but not that there's a big deal. That is the back. It's a dishcloth. It's a dishcloth, <laughs> yeah. But this one, I love this pattern because you can actually use it as a face cloth. Feel that. Oh my gosh, It's like off. so squishy. Yeah, it's really squishy. It, like it feels really and when dense. And it, when it gets, I know, I know, mm -hmm. I really like it. It's almost, um, in a way, it's like a brioche because you're, you knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one. That's what you do all the way along. Just knit one, slip one. And then the uh, other row on the way back is you knit and then you purl the stitch that was slipped you mm -hmm. purl and mm -hmm. so that's like knit purl knit purl knit purl one yeah. way and then knit, knit slip, slip knit slip knit oh, that's slip, easy. Knit, slip the other way yeah that's super easy so that was it and it just makes it almost like a like, brioche yeah really dense. and it's really squishy yeah so it's like a one-sided brioche i yeah. guess you would i would call yeah. it yeah. i don't know but yeah that's absolutely cool. love it so this is one of the dish classes claws that i managed to do once i was feeling mm -hmm. better so that was that one and I finished my February Heart Warrior socks. Oh, oh, they're so nice. I'm going to show it this way. There we go. See, it's got a nice cable pattern up the, along up the, the side, side. Up the long, the long the one side. I know I've turned it over. I still have to, my ends are all sewn in. I haven't clipped them though. Yeah. Um, but it, yes, and then you get your heart pattern. Sort of a rough heart pattern. Yeah, that's so sweet. Now, I made a modification in, <clears throat> excuse me, in this bit at the top. You're supposed to go from here into the ribbing, but I like my socks to be a certain length, yeah. and yeah. Uh, that was one of the things that I did with it being, I like my socks basically when you fold them in half like that with yeah. the heel, I like them to be about the, the same, same size. Yes, I'm the same. So, um, so I added this, and this is what is on the bottom at the toe. So it, they're toe-up socks, so yes. it has that little zigzag. Yes. So what I did was, um, instead of doing it at the beginning, starting at the 1 and going to the 10, because it's 10 rows to do this little zigzag. Yes. What I did was I started at row 10, 9, oh, 8, you 7, reversed 6. It. I reversed it. Very cool. So that they would sort of, they sort of match. That's you cool. Know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I did that on both of the socks. That's I neat. wish added another inch to the length yeah. and then I always like um I like at least 15 rows in yes. my ribbing yes. at least and I did a twisted rib they they called mm -hmm. for a two by two rib mm -hmm. I did a twisted rib yeah just because I like the twisted rib it looks nice very defined yes ribbing. I love the look of it it looks so nice it's annoying to do mm -hmm. I know I always annoying, say I, I'm all excited when I do a twisted yeah. rib I think oh and it you look at like five rows and you think yeah oh, this looks so nice and then by the sixth or seventh row, you're like, you're like why oh, did I decide do, to I do know. twisted rib? I know. <laughs> and the, and I know that like the these it looks yeah. a little, but I I did the Jenny stretchy yeah. cast off, yes, bind off. I did that, and I couldn't get it over my heel. Oh, it was still too tight. Oh, so what? Did so you do? I did my own one that I've used for others, whereas I knit a stitch, I wrap. And then I knit the next stitch and I take the wrap and the other previous stitch over and then I wrap, knit, wrap and the next, the last stitch over. So yeah. I'm, I'm, it's going over, you're taking like two stitches over because you're mm -hmm. doing a wrap, a yarn yeah. over sort of. Yeah. Yeah. But so that, that just gives it that extra, gives it that extra give, and it's give like, in that yeah. one stitch. Yeah. 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 And I never have a problem with my socks when I do it that way. Yeah. If I yeah. do a toe up sock, I all, uh, I just find that it works out better because the Jenny's one is where you knit two together, 
put the put the two stitches back on the left needle yeah and then knit those two together take that stitch put it back on the left needle knit, knit the next two like that one and the next stitch together okay. yeah and that's how you're supposed to do it and I I have done that yeah. but it just didn't work out this time so yeah. I did a little well and this one this is Georgian Bay fiber yes and I think it's a BFL base oh, okay so there is nylon in it yeah but uh it just didn't have enough give in it yeah so that's why i thought well i'll do this other one so it looks a little baggy but i i don't care that's what's under your under your pants yeah so and not only that it has to get over your heel yes i know <laughs> i, I want to wear them yeah <laughs> so yay so pair two for the year done that's excellent and i've already entered like done my uh enter it in the uh grocery girls Oh, excellent. sock thing yeah so I did that and it's I've got it on my Ravelry page as well mm -hmm. so I've, I'm done that so that's basically my two FO since last week last episode excellent yeah so did we get anything I don't think we got anything we got nothing this in the last little nope. while no nope. didn't get anything nope oh but I can talk uh, I have worked a little bit on oh that's on good. my little cross stitch yeah so I've filled in, I've started, it's mostly just the little fill-ins now that I have to do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm about to start going around the doghouse. It's all red. It's just like a red square of stuff okay. that goes around that. Yeah. And then this has uh, like red and there's a greenish color. Like these, the, all these lines are sort of filled in here. Okay. So it's like striping. Okay. in a way so that's filled in so once that's done then there's a stitching that goes around the edging yeah. like this and I can fill in the the letters like it says good dog up here and it says uh, a dog's love never fails goes in here and then I'll put the dog's name I'll stitch it on top of the uh, the collar here it gets Sweet. put yeah so that's it so I just once it gets nice and sunny I'll work on that for a little nice. bit and I'll get a fair bit done so nice. it's it's doing it very quickly and I don't I need to have it done before I go away though yes that's yeah. the only thing that's I'm trying to get that done yes so other than that that's that's what I've been working on yeah so um, for me I I published that book um, and I know a few of you <coughs> have me. contacted me and I think some of you may have purchased it so if you did thank you very much I really appreciate it mm -hmm. um, I and uh, some of our friends have also purchased mm -hmm. so I'm really excited about that and then I had um, breakfast with a friend of mine yesterday and she worked briefly for um, a romance publisher probably the most well-known one in North America Harlequin mm -hmm. she worked there for a brief time and um, so she knew I had published this book and she just gave me some pointers so I've um, created a Facebook page because she said you know that that's what they look for is they mm -hmm. want to make sure that the author has a has a following um, yeah. a social media media following mm -hmm. and Facebook is good um, so I've just started doing creating that so and I'm still working on the second book because mm -hmm. I want that one to come out in the summer um, so that's really been my focus in the last couple of weeks is kind of really trying to get a handle on yes. that because um, yeah that takes some time yes um, I don't think I've really been doing anything else. I haven't really knit. Like no. I said, I finished that hat. And she basically knit. knits at knit night now. Yeah. Because <laughs> she's so focused on her I'm writing. I'm so focused Which on that. Which you should be. Yeah. That and your yoga. And my yoga. So yes. those are the two things I've been spending a lot of time on. Mm -hmm. Like I do a couple of hours of, of yoga. It takes me a couple hours because mm -hmm. I'm also doing some like yoga challenges and which is a lot of fun. Um, and uh so that yeah kind of pushes me a little bit out outside my comfort zone in in that but and just so you know like in the last last month I have been able to do a, a supported headstand so I every single day I go on my my head well it's not actually in, in a supported headstand you're 90% on your arms and 10% on your head so you're not putting a lot of strain on your 
neck, but uh, I'm, I'm so excited that I'm 58 and I'm doing headstands. Yeah. <laughs> the first time in my life. <laughs> I know. So, I know. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. So that's, yep. I'm, I'm focusing on that more yep. than my knitting. And I feel really bad because I go past my knitting projects and I'm like, oh, I really want to work on that. <laughs> and then by the end of the day, I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, and yeah. And then I also feel like, like my husband's really good and that he leaves me alone when I'm working on yeah. my, which I mean, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that, but when I'm yeah. writing, yeah. um, he leaves me alone. He goes, does his own thing. And, uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like, well, I can't just sit and ignore him yeah. since I haven't talked to him all, all day. day. Yes. <laughs> I guess I should spend I some, should spend time, some with him. time with him. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. But no, uh, yeah, but, no, I haven't been up to too much either. No, well, you really. were sick. I was sick. Yeah. Which was awful because then a couple of girls from Knit Night were also ended up sick. Yeah. And then uh, both my grandkids ended up being sick because oh. they're here a lot. Yeah. Um, so I blame my husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he goes, what do you mean? I said, well, you're the one that's been, I said, you are yeah. cough all the time. He does. He's got asthma, so he always has a cough. Um. But you were the one that's been sick the longest, I said. Yes. And I, I cleaned the house, but obviously... There's only so much you can do. I said, do. you usually go in the basement when we have knit night. You sat upstairs the last time, so <laughs> I'm blaming you. <laughs> Even though it was a completely different room. And yeah. Other side of the house, he was still on the main floor. Yeah. Because <laughs> that meant he had to walk by where we were all. And with yeah. his cough. So that's it's his fault. <laughs> But yeah, so a few of us on knit night got sick, so I still have a little bit of the cough left. But my grandkids, actually, they weren't too bad. That's um, good. The little one, we were mostly worried about him because he was premature. Yeah. We're our, and our main concern is RSV, which little ones and preemies are preemies, prone to. Yeah. Um, he never got the shot because he was actually for for a preemie, he was six pounds twelve ounces. So. Mm. Um, that's a big baby. Yeah. And he's a little chunky monkey now. So. Yeah. Yeah. He's such a cute. <laughs> so. They're both so sweet. Yeah. So, but he like had a fever for like a day and a half and then it mm. was done. Oh, good. So it was really good. good. But then his mom got sick. Too, mm. So, so it's like, you know, the mm -hmm. chain reaction. I that's said, the way well, it works though. Boosting the immune system. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then the Friday after, um, our last, uh, episode, we went out with Amanda yarn enabler and we went and oh, saw right. 50 shades freed yeah <laughs> we haven't seen any of the other movies i yeah. didn't think that the storyline would have been that no hard to... no i think we kind of figured out yeah. what had happened yeah and and not, i don't think either of us have read any of the books no we haven't so. read any of the books <laughs> my daughter-in-law has them i should read them i've heard they're poorly written i know i've heard that too you know i i don't the subject matter because i suspect it's not too too bad mm -hmm. um it's not really my thing but if it's badly written, I don't care. Even if it's something that I love, if it's badly written, written you just have no patience to I read it. I can't. I can't yeah. sit through it. I just won't waste my time on I something know. that's badly written. I get that. I get <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. So, like Twilight was actually written not badly. Yeah. Like they were. Yeah. Because yeah, I read all the Twilight books, and I they they were a quick read as yeah. far as I was yeah. concerned. They were a quick read, even though the books were like this thick. Yeah. Because I got the the hard covers. Yeah. Um. I, I flew through them. Yeah. So there was, yeah. It was a, so I don't think the, the writing was bad. It was just a, a well, very a, light it, topic. It, very well, just, whew. Well, I think it's because it was aimed at, uh, it's a young adult yeah. thing. So it yeah. was aimed at a slightly younger. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't not, mind not reading for children. Them. Yeah, but, but, but yeah, like, like young teenagers, adults. Teenagers, young adults. Yeah. 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 For so. sure. For sure. But other than that, we've noticed though in the last week mm -hmm. and a half since well last two weeks since mm -hmm. our last podcast we've now reached over yes a thousand subscribers on our channel here yes thank you thank you everyone i know so i appreciate I'm that we're just like really really i know <laughs> you we're guys want to watch us yes yeah <laughs> and very grateful yes yeah, so grateful yeah so because of that we're going to have a giveaway yes so i've left out some stuff from our our little prize stash yes so, um, it's going to be a really nice little prize. Nice prize. You're so going to get, this is from Ginger Snap. And this is one of her sock blanks. It's a sock blank. So it's just, it's like the, the, yarn the, skulls. Yeah. 
with these these are amazing look at this gorgeous you know i just love like a, like a pinky rose color and the orange like and orange together yes. is like an amazing yeah combination so yep yeah. oh my god i would just want to wear that as a scarf as it is i it's know so it, 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 it actually feels really nice yeah too, right yeah so yes yeah, so that's that's the first part of the prize yes and then she has also sent us these amazing little bags, a little notions pouch, or which has also uh, like got the nice orange balls on it. Yes, which I thought, and it's balls. got little wee things inside. Oh, little funny little animals! Oh, it's like that, um, like amigram roomy or animals with the big eyes. Oh, and they reminded me of that um, that Disney feature about the the. May oh what is it the Day of the Dead uh, oh, okay. characters oh okay right? yes I know the one you're talking yes. about but I can't uh, yeah, think of the name I'm, yeah but <laughs> I thought that this went really, really nicely well with that, with that. Mm -hmm. and then I have oh and this one because she uh, gave us this one also has a little stitch marker and it and it just goes so perfectly with it that. goes so perfectly and then I will also send the little. Canada, Canada stit progress keeper as well. So yes. you get two progress keepers. This a you notions can, pouch. You, a notions pouch slash ball sack because <laughs> I think it would it see it'll fit a nice single skein in there. Yeah, no problem. So you can yeah. use it if as a knit, if you get one sock at a time. Or uh, as I've been seeing people talk about them saying like yeah this is sort of like my purse. Yeah, like they take they throw it in their knitting yeah. bag and it's got like. Their ID your, your and some driver's license and, some and, driver. <laughs> and your phone. It yeah. carries your phone. It'll put your phone. Because you know, it. honestly, I when I, in the summer I will sit out back um, to do my knitting, mm -hmm. and uh, well, a lot of times what I do is I will have my my project bag with yes. my project in it, and I'll throw my phone in there, mm -hmm. and um, like a, maybe an extra set of needles. I have a pad of paper and a pen. I've got all kinds of stuff in there yes and and I just carry that with my water mm -hmm. out outside mm -hmm. and I and I'm I've got everything I need right there and I can listen to like I can either watch a video podcast mm -hmm. or listen to audio podcast yes while I'm sitting outside knitting it's amazing I yeah. love it so that is just yeah. perfect for that so I think what we'll do is you to leave a comment mm -hmm. down below on the YouTube because it on is episode on episode 41. 41. Mm -hmm. um, we have to think of a question. A question or just a comment? Like, um, what? Just uh, just comment. Just say uh, yeah. like what you might do with the prize. Like yes. I, to what, me might, what, what, what do you think you'll knit with the soft blank? Like I honestly, I'm looking at it and to me it's very fall colors. Yes. The oranges and the yellows, golds yes. and that. And, and I just, which is great because even though it's spring and we are thinking of the nice, bright, happy, cheery colors, mm -hmm. you've got enough time if you win this um, that you could... Yep. Um, Make some, you know, some socks yeah. for, for someone in your family or yourself. See, these are dyed um, by her husband, Mr. Mr. Snapback. Snap <laughs> yeah. Um, so you could make something for them or you could uh, and give it as a yeah. gift to someone she's that you Canadian. know. She's Canadian. So, um, yeah, why not just, just tell us what you think you might make with it. Yes. And, um, you know, if, if there's something in particular, I, I think yeah. that's enough just because we want to have as yeah. many people put their names in as possible yeah. for a yes. chance to win because it's an awesome prize yes and so yeah so that'll be so, for our thousand subscriber giveaway yeah so if you do that we'll draw in the on the next podcast the next one which will um, be the 15th of march which will be sheila's birthday so in two weeks so you have two weeks from yes. march 1st to march 15th after yes. that i think there's a way in youtube that you can close comments um, Possibly, yeah. Yes. So, uh, you know, we'll close it for a little while because I know people yeah. do come back. Well, how about we do close it on the 14th? Okay. That way, the 14th for sure because yeah. the 15th doesn't end till midnight. So yeah. we'll close it at midnight on, on the, the 14th. 14th. And so just comment, you know, something mm -hmm. about the, the, the items here. The, um, mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, 
we'll we'll just do a random draw. Yeah. And um, and it's nice because the little the it, it's got all the little yarn balls on the outside. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. It's just They're so just like cute. Little balls and it goes little, with that. So the well. yarn skulls and the yarn yeah. balls and yep. And yep. so that's so awesome. So I thank know. you. So that's uh, ginger snap. Yep. Ginger snap that. that okay. uh, just yeah, this is just her little thank you. Her clip, mm -hmm. her the care instructions yeah. inside. So yeah, um, I'm just trying to see if she has no. I, we don't have a business card, but yeah, there's that's, that's well yeah, probably. there's her. She's, she's on, on Etsy. Etsy, so you can find her on Etsy. Ginger snap that on Etsy, and she's also on Instagram. If yeah, you ginger snap take a look that her one there. on Instagram. Yeah. She's got some, her husband does phenomenal sock lengths. Sock lengths. Oh yeah. my gosh. They're yeah. just amazing. Yeah. And, uh, and she makes these amazing bags as yes, well. Yes, so. because we've got bigger bags yes. too from her. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah, of course, really sweet, uh, progress keepers. Yes, she does. She has some really cute progress keepers. So yeah, we're looking forward to hearing about what you might be making with this. Um, so by March 14th, that would be awesome. Yeah. Um, and I think that's everything for today. That is everything for today. Yeah. So. so thank you very much for joining yeah. us. Um, we hope that if this is your first time, you found something of interest. And, uh, if you've joined us in the past, thank you so much for coming and, and being part coming of back. our, yeah. our over thousand subscribers. We're yep. really grateful and really yep. amazed as well. Yep. So <laughs> I know I, we are, we're just like, I, I was like, Oh my, we're like almost there. Yes. We're almost there. Yeah. Like it just, there's just something about reaching that the, number. Certain <laughs> round numbers. Yeah. 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 So, so, so just, thank you. Yes. Thank you so, so much. We yeah. do so appreciate it. Yeah. We just, we can't believe that. You all want to listen to us. Listen to us ramble. Natter on. <laughs> so, Knitting natter almost. Yeah. Yeah. So, so thank you, and we'll see you in two weeks. Yep. Bye for now. Bye.